I want to introduce you to a covenant-making God. I know that you're born again. I know that you spend eternity with him because of the covenant that was made. But I want you to know that he still makes personal agreements. He still gives personal promises. I would never want to suggest that we buy them. I would never want to suggest. First of all, God doesn't need your money. He doesn't need everything you have, anything you have. But he really is fond of our heart. So my favorite gift is to jump on the altar myself and say, take it all. Here I am. Do what you want. But I remember I could take you to the spot in a home on Masonic Lane in Weaverville, California, second floor, up bedroom to the left, on the far side of the bed, as God visited me and wanted to know if I wanted more at any cost as I had prayed. And it would cost me the right to dignity. And I made a covenant with God at 3 o'clock in the morning. I can take you to where I walked through the woods, weeping because of a crisis, because of a personal need, because of a need for breakthrough, and walk and pray and walk and pray. And to have the Lord, I would always take my Bible because that's how he speaks to me most of the time. And I would read until he would speak. And he spoke clearly. And I can't say that the problem was fixed that day or even that week. But I can say it was fixed and the promise was given in a moment. Sometimes promises are given in a moment that take a month or two or a year or two to work out. But the promise is given. The point is covenant with God. Some of you have dreams that have never been fulfilled. You know what? I just want to encourage you. Talk to him about it. Talk to him until you hear back. Get it, make a covenant with God. Come open-handed. Come ready to put yourself on the altar. It's not as though he needs anything we have. It's just there's something about just meeting with God and saying, God, this is the cry of my heart. I'll do anything. I will do anything. I put myself on that altar once again. And there's something about having a history with God. I feel bad for those who have never had those meetings, those times of surrender, those times of deep personal brokenness. You know, some people have had it too good. They've just had it too good. They've never had a moment of brokenness where they had to cry out that God would show up and deliver. I feel bad for them because no history was made. See, history is made through some of the most challenging moments, sometimes life-threatening, sometimes economic disaster, sometimes household issues. It doesn't matter to me what it is. The point is, we're all people. We all got stuff. It's time to meet with God, come open-handed, and make a covenant. Make a covenant with the one who gave us the capacity to desire because he himself is the rewarder. He gave us the capacity to dream because of his nature. He gave us the capacity to dream because it was the perfect blend, the perfect mix to meet with the one who is the rewarder of those who seek him. 